Hello, this is Dr. T. I'm back with some more fun with polynomials. Today, we're going to learn the FOIL method. And no, this is not aluminum foil. And it's not fencing. Ah, foil, get it? This method only works when you're multiplying two binomials. It's an acronym, and it tells you which terms to multiply. This is very important. When you get a problem that's a uh, trinomial and a binomial, FOIL will not work. But FOIL works great with binomials, and it saves a lot of time. First thing we're going to do is multiply the first terms. Then we're going to multiply the outer terms. Then we're going to multiply the inner terms. And then we're going to multiply the last terms. Now, this may not make any sense to you at all right now, but it will become very clear as soon as we work a problem. So we're going to use the FOIL method, and we're going to multiply x plus 4 times x plus 6. And for f, remember in FOIL, tells us to multiply the first term of each binomial. So we're going to take the first term from this binomial and multiply it times the first term in this binomial. And of course, you know what that's going to give us, uh, because we're going to add those exponents and we get x squared. So the f for the first. Now, the O tells us to multiply the outer terms. So these two are on the outside, so we're going to multiply them. We multiply the x times the 6, and that's going to give us 6x. And you can see we're building up our answer as we go. So O for outer. I tells us to multiply the inner terms, and the inner terms are the ones that are on the inside closest to one another. So that would be the 4 times x, and of course 4 times x is simply 4x. And now our equation is building on out, x squared plus 6x plus 4x, we just have one more term, and that would be the last terms. So the last term in the first polynomial is 4, the last term in the second polynomial is 6, and what we end up with when we multiply those is 24, and so our our answer is x squared plus 6x plus 4x plus 24, and then we have to combine the like terms. We only have two of those, and they combine to form 10x. So FOIL method is a great way to speedily uh, multiply a pair of binomials. It reminds you to multiply first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. And that's all I've got on the FOIL method. However, I'll be back in a GIF with the box method, and then we're going to work some problems, and it'll be up to you to decide whether you want to use distributive, FOIL, or the box method. Until then, though, I look forward to seeing you back in the algebra classroom.